इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ हाइड्रोजन बॉन्डिंग सो फ्रेंड्स वॉट इज हाइड्रोजन बॉन्डिंग द फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन बिटवीन पॉजिटिवली चार्ज हाइड्रोजन एटम ऑफ वन मॉलिक्यूल एंड द नेगेटिवली चार्ज फ्लोरिन और ऑक्सीजन और नाइट्रोजन ऑफ एन अदर मॉलिक्यूल इज कॉल्ड हाइड्रोजन बॉन्डिंग to understand the concept of the hydrogen bonding properly we will discuss the examples of the hydrogen bonding that are water ammonia dna and so one of the best example of the hydrogen bonding is that in the water molecule now look at the lewis structure of the water molecule here in the water molecule we have to two lone pair and the two bond pair of electron and we know according to the definition of the hydrogen bonding that the hydrogen that is positively charged must attach to oxygen nitrogen or fluorine so here the hydrogen is bonded with a oxygen molecule so here the water molecule can easily form four hydrogen bonds formation of the hydrogen bonding in water Now look at here in the diagram the central water molecule is making the four hydrogen bond with other four water molecules this red dotted line denotes the hydrogen bonding in the water molecule so another example of the hydrogen bonding is that of the ammonia now look at the lewis structure of the ammonia here the nitrogen is covalently bonded with a hydrogen so it can easily form the hydrogen bond formation of the hydrogen bonding in ammonia as friends you can easily see in the diagram that the central ammonia molecule is making hydrogen bonds with two other ammonia molecules this red dotted line denotes the hydrogen bonding in ammonia friends do you know that the hydrogen bonding is also present in dna wow so what is dna dna is the hereditary material which transfers the genetic characteristics from one generation to another generation The two strands of the alpha helix structure of the DNA are attached to each other by hydrogen bonding. So we know that the DNA bases are adenine, thymine, cytosine and the guanine. Here adenine is making two hydrogen bonds with the thymine whereas the guanine is making three hydrogen bonds with cytosine. Now look at here in the diagram you can uh, you can easily see that the adenine is making hydrogen bond with thymine whereas the guanine making hydrogen bond with cytosine Friends do you know that the hydrogen bonding plays an important role in our cleaning action Yes due to hydrogen bonding soap and detergents have a cleaning action Have you ever seen soap molecule? If no, then look at here in the diagram. Here the soap molecule having polar head and a non-polar tail. So according to the phenomenon of like dissolve like means polar dissolve in a polar and a non-polar dissolve in a non-polar. So here the polar head of the soap dissolves in a water which is polar in nature whereas the non polar tail dissolve greek grease dust which are non polar in nature and in this way the cleaning takes place now let's discuss the strength of the hydrogen bonding it depends on the two factors that are the size of an atom covalently bonded to hydrogen atom and the electronegativity of an atom covalently bonded to a hydrogen atom so when the electronegativity of an atom increases as a result the size of an atom decreases and the strength of the hydrogen bonding increases so By taking an example of the hydrogen fluoride we can easily understand the strength of the hydrogen bonding Now look at here in the hydrogen fluoride molecule 
what's going on that the hydrogen fluoride making hydrogen bond with another hydrogen fluoride. So in case of the hydrogen fluoride, as we know that the fluorine is the most electronegative atom of an periodic table, so its electronegativity is more. As a result of the greater electronegativity, the fluorine atom is small in size and its strength of the pulling the electron is greater. So it results in increase in the strength of the hydrogen bonding. Importance of hydrogen bonding. Due to the hydrogen bonding, melting point, boiling point, viscosities, surface tension, heat of vaporization, heat of sublimation increases. And it results in lower vapor pressure. Whereas, the solubility of the compounds increases due to the hydrogen bonding. Do you know that the open cage structure of ice is due to the hydrogen bonding? Also, the adhesive action in the paints, glue and dyes are due to hydrogen bonding. If you like my video, then friends, don't forget to like, share and subscribe digital chemistry.